Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for another full stop driving video. Um, you can see I'm going to adjust my speed up to the speed limit today. Uh, we're just going to stop counting these as in, uh, necessary interventions. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do is necessary interventions versus unnecessary interventions. However, um, this is a new point release. This is a dot six versus the previous version was dot five. This is still 12.6.2. Um, but we... Oh, there's a rabbit right there. Rabbit. Um, we are doing our saluted test this morning just to kind of, you know, feel the, the curves. Now, what what do we have on a curvy, curvy road, right? And, yeah, we're going to see. This is probably going to be one take. So, if you guys, I got a lot of hate on my previous video that came out uh, yesterday. I think the one that came out this morning, um gonna have a, a lot more receptive because it was a zero intervention drive and very good uh, and you're really if you hated yesterday's video you're really gonna hate tomorrow's video and uh, this one's coming out today uh, tomorrow was one where I think this 12.6 uh, should be halted now perhaps this point release fixes that which is why we're out here testing this morning so all right don't I don't know if this route's gonna give me enough why is the I'm sure the oncoming traffic's like, why are you turning? Why are you doing that? There's no reason for a blinker there. Okay. Yeah, blinkers seem to be a slight issue in this version, which is odd. I don't... Like, humans wouldn't ever do that. It, I mean, if you're getting on the highway, I could see you turning the blinker on too early. But we weren't getting on the highway, so I don't know exactly why I was doing that. What we're looking for is we have a few curves around here. We're looking to see if it rides the yellow line, rides the white line when it goes around this curve and just trying to see if maybe that's been improved because that's the main issue we're seeing it seems like that is good so far I mean that to me is good obviously we have to go through a few more curves and the thing is I didn't do this route on the previous version so I don't know if that's what this point release is for or maybe it's for something else and I don't have the time this morning to go on the highway to see if it rides the rumble strip again. That being said, it rode the rumble strip on uh, my previous test because of the trucks next to me. It was trying to pass those trucks with the trailers and it just moved too far to the left and hit the rumble strip. However, that was not the case on 321 coming back from Boone because it just like curved like this. No reason, rather for the rumble strike. I think they dialed back the amount it's able to um, use racing lines. So racing lines, you go to the inside and outside part of the curve based on where you're turning and just to make the most efficient uh, way through the turn. That's just not how people drive unless you're driving very fast and recklessly on a road. Yeah, so this is very smooth. I feel like this was smoother than the last time we did this. But maybe it's because we didn't have the two GPS points. I'm not really sure. As you can see, our map data is still all screwy around here. We are in a school zone. And school, I believe, is in session. So it does need to slow down. It doesn't need to like, slow down a lot. So right now, it's, it's good. We have There is a police car sitting right there. And there is a school bus. It should stop for... You're going to stop. 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 Okay. Car was not slowing for stop school bus and road. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. That definitely, like, you don't come up that fast to a stop school bus. It was fine going around the curve in terms of speed, but clearly you can see the stop sign right there. It was not stopping. Now, I know version 13 has done this for cars, but this is uh, version 12.6.2. So obviously it cannot stop yet for school buses. The the thing is, it was also the school buses all over the line. So it like it has a narrow path to go through. It should have slowed down regardless to go around the school bus right here. Let's see if it goes. Yeah, okay. It would, see, it recognized it then. Okay, that is a pretty rare situation for me to get here as soon as the school bus gets here. 
So, um, normally you would never see that on this route, which is funny because we pass the school zone every morning when we do this route, but um, just happened to catch it this morning. Glad, glad we went out. I was almost not, not going to go out on this route um, this morning. But yeah, we're this. I mean, the speed control though it seems to be good on this road. Though by good, it's not speeding, which it really shouldn't speed in this area. Though it could go a little bit faster. Doesn't have to go <laughs> this slow. I like how I say like I'm complaining about going over the yellow line, and the person off to my left over there driving up the road was like dead center in the middle of the road on top of the yellow line. That was very very smooth going to this turn. Again, it's a little bit too slow, though then again, it has a speed bump right here. So perhaps that's why. It is a somewhat of a rough road, so perhaps the car is reading that the road is fairly rough by looking at it, and it's deciding to go a little bit slower. I mean, it could go a little bit faster in here. My point of view, it could go, it could go 20 in here, I think. Not, well, maybe like 18, something in that range. But otherwise, it, this is not unacceptable. This is totally fine. For this type of like, neighborhood type road, I think that's totally acceptable. A little bit of head intensity here, and it might be because our spot is about to end. So, let's see if we can... Let's see, we're gonna... Okay, just so I don't get a freaking... Um... Let's see if we can get it to navigate again. Okay. It's just hard to get navigation to do these waypoints back to back. Yeah, see, it's still gonna go this way. I don't know why, because map data thinks this is not a um, not a road that I can go down. To me, that's the correct way to go. Is it should be going down this road. I guess this way's a little bit more difficult, or maybe it wants, and maybe it thinks because of the blind turn off to the left over here, that it wants to. Go this thinks this way is safer. I don't know. It could be any number of reasons. Most likely, it's just as simple as map data. This is uh, like perfect speed through here. Great speed for all the bumps and everything. Yeah, stop sign. We have a blind hill off to our right. Which the cars are supposed to be slowing down for. See, see how that's a. 20 mile an hour with two orange markers on it and my car is still speeding up are you gonna hit the 20 you're gonna slow down you're gonna slow down okay this is definitely improved from the previous version because I had to disengage it doesn't need to turn on a blinker here it just doesn't need to turn on a blinker here There is a police car sitting right there. There's always police cars. There's one sitting up next to the school that we passed earlier. I don't know if you normally this car I think it's just parked here. I don't I don't think anyone's actually in that car. But that being said, they do sit here. And you will get pulled over going through a small southern towns. It's just the way it is. I'm gonna reiterate that and beat that to death until it works every single time. Okay, so good news is it did not hesitate at all for that blinking yellow very good also we are in school hours I if it goes above 27 we're disengaging or at least slowing it down okay we're not okay we can do that it is school hours we do not speed in a school zone obviously you're going a few mile an hour over but it looks pretty obvious if you're going 10 mile an hour over 50% over the speed limit looks pretty obvious so it's just, it's just a no-no in a southern town. I will beat that to death. And you guys can unsubscribe from me if you do not agree. <laughs> Go away. Because <laughs> I will beat that to death. Until they do it right. And I think, um, to be fair, until we have speed profiles on the, on the slower speed limit, that's going to be an issue. Got us to 35. Got the 45 mile an hour here. And we're speeding up. That's great. You know, I've thought about making my own speed limit sign and just sticking it out on the road so then I don't have to 
adjust the speed every single time. I'm highly considering doing that. Tell me what you guys think down below. If I should go make my own speed lim uh, realistic speed limit sign, like it'll look just like this. It'll be like made out of cardboard or well, made out of like a, a PVC and printed. It would actually it would actually be legit the 45 mile an hour sign printed onto a, a sign, but um, but it would be attached to like a wooden post or metal post or something to see if I can get it to like actually read the speed limit uh, on my main road when I get out versus saying 25 mile an hour. So yeah. Okay, so we're going around this curve, about to go around this curve, and basically we're seeing, I wonder if I can get it to go faster. Okay, yeah, 55 max. It doesn't want to go faster around the curve. Like, to most people that's fine. Yeah, I think they've, they seem to have definitely adjusted. Okay, now that's a little bit close. That's a little bit close, but it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, especially because of oncoming traffic. There was a person stopped right there. That, that was a little bit close. But, um, I, I, it's a little bit too early to tell if this, oh, oops. We are not getting on the highway. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a little bit too early to tell if that, if the problem has been addressed on this version. Um, we'll go around this next curve to see if that's improved at all. Very good, like, very good right here with that interaction. Did it over, over break at all? We might try the crazy hill test. If you saw my last video on that, we might not really be doing that anytime soon, but, um, yeah. It still rides the line a little bit close, but it seems like it seems like they tweaked it. If that is the case, and if that is the case where it do, will not go on the rumble struck on the highway, just go ahead and send it wide. But we'll find out. Uh, tell me what you guys think down below, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you watching. Bye.